What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you an amazing deck, and guess what? It is pool three, pool two, it is no series four or series five cards. So if you're sitting here thinking, oh, I need Shuri, I need Thanos in order to compete right now, au contraire, no you don't. This deck right here got one of our amazing subscribers to Infinite in like a day or two. So I've been playing it all morning. I want to break it down, hand it off to all of you so you can rank up and hit Infinite as well. But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. If you love Marvel Snap, especially the competitive aspect, like ranking up the ladder, learning about just different uh, decks, strategies, all that kind of stuff, you definitely want to subscribe and ring that notification bell because not only do I provide you with amazing content, but we got a bunch of other cool stuff too, like our amazing Discord server linked down in the description below. And like I said, this deck came from one of our subscribers who is also on Discord. So you could be in the know, get some of these decks a little bit sooner, so definitely join our Discord server and you want to subscribe because we're trying to hit 8,000 by the end of the month. We're pretty close. We're like less than 100 away. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do, do your boy Chris a favor and I promise to provide you with amazing content. And if you're subscribed, you can also be part of our monthly giveaways. I give away three free season passes every single month, but you got to be subscribed. You got to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter's linked down below. It's at BootmanMSTZ. All right, cool. Let's discuss. So this comes from one of our subscribers, uh, Discord name Lachino, and he told me uh, that he hit infinite in like a day. I'm like, yo, what? What? I'm looking at this deck. I'm like, what? <laughs> with this current meta, with everybody saying that you need to have Thanos, you need to have uh, Shuri in order to hit infinite, you did this in a day? So I was like, okay, cool. I took a look at it. This actually reminds me of the Doom Wave deck that I posted about a week or two ago that came from WWLOS um, that a lot of people were using to hit infinite. This is a little bit of a spin on it. I'm not sure which one I like better. I think they're uh, very similar, but I'm gonna link this deck down below, okay? Because I'm just gonna give you kind of a rough idea of the deck, but Lachino was cool enough. He um, made a Snap Fan page for this deck. He has a complete breakdown. Like he took the time to write like, can you see my hands? Can you see? That's how much he wrote about this and like, the idea, the strategy behind it, optimal plays, win conditions, all sorts of stuff, all right? So this morning, I played um, I, uh, 26 games and I went 12 and 14 with it, but I was uh, I was positive cubes, okay? Um, I do think that one of this deck's strengths is that you do have a good idea of when you should retreat so you can mitigate cube loss. And I think um, one of the biggest factors was Arrow uh, with winning four cube games, okay? I didn't win any eight cube games. Uh, the, pe the people were like, what is this? That's what I like about the, these unexpected decks, and I don't have time to rant about it, but please check out my video from yesterday about Leech getting nerfed, because I've been keeping a lot of data and I talk about our perception versus the reality versus the data and stuff like that. But anyways, I do think there's room in the current meta to experiment with different decks like this. Like the reason I was able to snag four cube wins and snap on people, like I, I was boomer snapping. I was snapping like on the last turn of the game and they were staying in because they had absolutely no clue what I was doing and I just arrowed them. <laughs> like they were like, like they didn't even have time to think like is arrow in this deck or I did like a little sneaky Shang-Chi and stuff like that. But anyways, um, a, a couple, a couple things about this deck from what my experience and what I've realized is the ideal scenario, um, is that you're drawing your low cost cards, um, Ideally, things like Sentinel and Lizard and Mr. Fantastic, I'd say these three are the key cards to have like in your hand early game. When you're able to keep that tempo and keep pushing power and spreading power, like it is hard to lose with this deck. When I had like these three cards in my hand early game, I don't think I lost a single game because I was able to keep on busting out Sentinels. I was able to play Lizard. I was able to spread power with Mr. Fantastic. There was even a couple games where I um, had like a Sanctum Sanctorum and Mr. Fantastic just won by putting two power in there. And then your backup plan is Dr. Doom. So I think in Latino's guide, he says like the two biggest challenges are Shuri and Thanos. 
I, I lost to a couple of them. I only played against three Shuri's and three Thanos's, and I think it was like split how many games I won or lost. Because you do have Killmonger in here to take out stones, just to reduce at least some of their power at the end. Um, you got, you got Shang-Chi. There was one game that I won just by dropping Cosmo because I knew that they were going to do a turn six the Hulk and Taskmaster. So I was able to just drop Cosmo. So they're, um, cause I had priority cause I was keeping that tempo up and uh, I was able to drop Cosmo. So their uh, Taskmaster wasn't able to do anything. All right, then you got She-Hulk here. The ideal scenario too is turn uh, turn five, you wave, then you could drop like a She-Hulk with like an uh, with like an arrow, something like that. We also have Leech here. Um, I will say again, going back to the Leech discussion, I lost every, like uh, I'd say, uh, I only won one game where I leached. <laughs> okay, so just just keep that in mind. I, you know, if if there was a card that um I was gonna replace, I don't know if it would be leech. I'm not gonna say that, but it's iffy, iffy. Leech was not winning me games uh, with this deck. All right. Um, but anyways, it's a cool deck. I'm gonna play a few games just so you get the feel for it. I might lose, I might retreat. Like I said, I will show you my losses and stuff, but just keep in mind, like I said, I, I played 26 games this morning um, and I actually shared this on Twitter and Marvel Snap decks shared it as well. So it got a lot of traction and Latino just shared it in our Discord server, but this deck blew up and uh, on snap.fan, they're tracking. There's 1,454 games and it has a 57.98% win rate, okay? And um, the average cubes per game is positive. It's at 0.46. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna show you a few games, even if I lose, even if I retreat, this deck for the community as a whole has been a net positive. So let's jump into some games and see how this thing rolls. All right, so let's see. They got a little Nimrod icon. You guys playing Nimrod? Um, so I got Lizard. I'm happy about that. We'll see how things go. I have a three. <laughs> I have a three cost Lizard. <laughs> oh, okay. I hate Project Pegasus. Like a Project Pegasus is supposed to be like fun, happy time, but I get nervous. I'm like, what do I do? Should I play out my strong cards? What should I do? Um, actually, for this one, here's what I'll do. I'll just spread some power. I'm not gonna doom it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Project Pegasus, cause I'm like, okay, what are they gonna play? They can play their big stuff, you know, but hey, you know what? They're probably in the same mindset. You know what I mean? All right, so Shuri deck. Playing a little Shuri. Oh, you lucked out on that one, huh? So they have Pryo. Now let's let's do this. Let's just take out some of their power. Now they're gonna drop Shuri somewhere. I was gonna I was gonna Cosmo. Oh, nice. Oh, not nice. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, I'm gonna take out the, this uh, sunspot. But I was gonna drop Cosmo, but then I'm like, oh, I'm giving him free protection. The game heard me talking about Project Pegasus. It heard me. All right, let's do this. Let's spread out some more power. Shuri? Yeah, I'm not. I do this if they. Oh, 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 it's only turn five. That project Pegasus messed me up. So I'm thinking do I want to drop Cosmo? Do I want to arrow? I don't know, I'm filling up my lanes. So yeah, I'm just spreading out power a little bit more. Let's see what happens. What could they have? They can arrow, well, if they arrow me here, but if they arrow into Tanya, 
Oh, I have priority. Go ahead and arrow, sucker. No? No arrow? We good? That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. <laughs> that was interesting, though. That seemed like a Shuri deck. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, you guys. Please just listen to me. Please, please, can we talk? Can me and you, can we just talk real quick? All right? Like, I've played, so far, I've tracked 90% of my games, okay? I've played a few on my phone. Most of them I played on my computer. I am taking this season easy. I'm not like, driving for infinite but anyways anyways you guys there is there is a variety of decks okay we are succumbing to confirmation bias thinking that we're seeing the same things over and over it's making the game stale and stuff like that you guys i like what like i haven't seen dr doom just chilling in this deck like i thought this was a shuri deck you know shuri never came out had the red skull had the zero you know what i mean all the signs so like that's keeping things fresh it's keeping things interesting. So let's let's all just calm down and take a breather. There's a variety of stuff going on and that's what we like to see. We like to see that variety. By the way, did you guys see that? That was a win. All right, next game. All right, starting hand. Okay, this is good. Something I was gonna say, like you have the wave uh, in the She-Hulk and look, an arrow and stuff like that, beautiful. This is the first time playing this deck that I've had this, this setup. This is the first time, <laughs> like I have terrible luck. That's one of the reasons I stopped playing that uh, Doom Wave deck is because I just have terrible luck with that combo. It is just never there. If I have Wave, I don't have She-Hulk. If I have She-Hulk, I don't have Wave. Like it's such a dope combo to set up at the end. Now, this is another uh, issue I've run into with this deck is this, but it's just luck of the draw. Like I kept looking at my deck um, just because I do that a lot when I first start playing. And I'm like, this has plenty of low cost cards. It's just something like this, where all my high cards come out, bad luck. Ooh, another Shuri. Look at me, look at me talking about variety. Like I know something. <laughs> Osmo don't matter. A little Spider-Man there. Yeah, this this is just uh we've we've been given a bad hand. Let me think though. If I skip this, I could play the Hulk into there. But they can Shuri here, Red Skull here. No, they're gonna Red Skull behind that. They're gonna Shuri here. So then they'll have five, eight, ten. Yeah, I think I'm gonna gamble it and skip. Well, I can still She Hulk next turn, right? So I'll save two, so that'll be four. Yeah. Okay, let's just get a little extra power in there. No Shuri. Playing Shuri decks that aren't drawn Shuri. That's dope. Give me Iceman. Give me Iceman. You're not Iceman. It's all tie there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if this is the play. Oh, Jesus, I should have waved, huh? God dang it. After all that talk about, I never get this combo set up. I never get it set up. Like, do they have... Do they have Red Skull? Like, I have to believe they have Red Skull. Right? Like, that's just something that we have to believe. So, we'll go ahead and retreat on that one. I screwed that one up. That was my bad. 
I was talking, I was talking and just slipped my mind. The, the wave slipped my mind. Let me see what would have happened. If I waved, if I waved here, they would have been able to play one card. If I waved there, I would have been able to play one card. They would have been able to play one card, right? Because they already played their She-Hulk. So then I have um, eight power here. I drop a tenor over here and I'm at 16. Okay. I'm at eight. I drop arrow right here, pull their red skull because that's what they're going to play. They're going to play it there anyways, right? So then I'm at eight plus seven. I'm at 15. They're at 15, but I win because he gives all my cards two power. Lachino, that was my bad. I made your deck look bad. Let's jump into the final game. All right, what are we working with? I like it. I like the lizard. I like that in my hand. I got wave. I got She-Hulk. Okay, you guys, remind me. Remind me. Type in the comments below. So don't forget to do wave and She-Hulk on the final turn. Just do that for me. All right. Hmm. Okay. I thought I was going to have to just pass this and then drop She-Hulk. But here, I'll do you guys a favor. How about that? But if they skip turn, we're Gucci. <laughs> Didn't even need to skip a turn. I was going to take those rocks out for you. Mm. I'm just going to try to spread out some power. I'm going to drop um, either She-Hulk or Leech, seeing what type of deck they're playing. And then hopefully Arrow. I, I think there's a leech because if they drop their, um, yeah, yeah, we good. I think this is a leecher. If they drop their Red Skull, I just tag their, um, their Taskmaster. Let's say top deck Taskmaster because that's the way the world works, you know? I played um, with the data I was keeping. I did two. I played against two Galactus Nimrod decks. I leached. Didn't affect them. See, this is where I get to do my little last turn snap. They don't know what's coming. We win. They might retreat. They might. I don't know. They might not expect the arrow. I might get four cubes. I might get four cubes. But they might be looking at their arrow and being like, this guy has arrow too. Looking at their arrow that can't do anything. Might have, might have, should have snapped, snapped on the leech though. Oh, okay. Guess it don't matter. Whoop. 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 Sneaky arrow. Sneaky, sneaky. Your little fist bump. So we made those, uh, those cubes back. Dang. Right as I'm talking about like, uh, how we, we, how, <laughs> I haven't played that many Shuri decks and stuff like that. We just played three games. All three were Shuri deck. The first deck was like maybe debatable because we didn't see uh, Shuri come out, but pretty sure, pretty sure those were all Shuri's. But hey, you know what? Um, yeah, so that's it. That is Lachino's deck. Like I said, uh, they are in the Discord server. So you can come, you can... Uh, Ask them about the deck, different strategies and things like that. I just, yeah, I just, I just won two out of three games. That should have been three out of three games. That second game, your boy screwed up. Your boy screwed up. But look, check it out. No series four, no series five. This is not a Thanos deck. This is not a Shuri deck. Um, yeah, and like you saw in that last game, just me spreading out power, keeping some of that priority. What you gonna do, Shuri? What you gonna do? You're doing nothing. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, dope deck. Check it out. Uh, 
I will just end with this. I will end with this because I just keep seeing like people, especially like streamers or big players in the community, um, people on Twitter, you know, who have a decent following. And so many people are just upset with the game and just the state of the game and stuff like that. And I am telling you, I, I truly believe, especially based on the data that I'm gathering, like so much of it is in our heads. So much of it is in, in our heads because the, the, the issue that people are having is that they believe that we can't play a wide range of decks, right? But that that's just not true. It's not true. Like it isn't. Like I, I think that we have a decent variety of decks. I think, you know, it was the same thing going on during the Zabu and Surfer uh era, uh era, not error. <laughs> um, I, I think that, you know, I'll say this. I'll, I'll say this publicly. I think we succumb to a form of groupthink where we hear everybody saying something, we just blindly believe it, and then we we get so narrow-minded and focused on that problem that we don't see all these other options. Lachino got to infinite with this deck, not using any of those cards. We got Leech in here. I used Leech, what, you know, once? I, I've, like, out of the 26 games, I barely used him, and the two times earlier when I used him, I lost, you know what I mean? So like I said in my video yesterday, I, I hope they adjust Leech or whatever. If nothing else, you know what? I just had an epiphany. The only reason I want them to nerf Leech is so everybody calms down. That's it. That's the only reason I give a crap, you know? Because <laughs> I have another deck that I'm gonna try out either today or tomorrow. That's like this anti-leech deck. And it's pretty cool too. And that's that's what makes this game fun and creative is that you find ways to work around um, these things. You know what I mean? So anyways, get your mind right. Uh, this game's dope. I love it. I'm gonna keep playing it. Uh, ranking up the ladder can get frustrating, but that's a me issue. That's why I'm taking the season off from like try harding to hit infinite. And I think that's what we all need to do until they come out with the unranked mode. But I'm gonna zip my lip now, join the Discord server, go tell Lachino, yo, thanks for this sweet deck, all right? But that's all I got for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring that notification bell. We're trying to hit 8,000 subscribers by the end of the mo month, and we're this close, we're that close. You see how close that is? So hit that subscribe button, join our Discord server, Follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTZ because every single month I give away three season passes for free. Next season's Hit Monkey. It's going to be Gangster. You might win a free uh, season pass. All right. So, yeah, that's it. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.